Hey guys, it's Nexi here, and today we are back with another Minecraft Auction 0.14 beta video for you guys, where we're going to be doing a complete guide to maps, which just came out in this update. We're going to be talking about the whole, how maps work, how you can craft them, all that good stuff that you may not not know about, but you will know about once this video is over. So let's just get started with it, with the most basic thing that everybody really wants to know when it comes to Minecraft uh maps, and it is how to craft them. Now what you're going to need is some paper. And you're going to need nine pieces of paper to craft a map. So we're going to go to the crafting table. As you can see here, it shows up. It says empty map. And we can craft four of these of what we're given. But we're only going to craft one for now. So we're going to craft a map right here. And as you can see, we have an empty map. Now, how you actually want to use the map and be able to see uh, where you're walking around and all that good stuff is you actually tap and hold on the right side of the screen. And it comes up. So as you can see right here, this is the map of the local area. It kind of looks like a chicken foot, doesn't it? The river. So it kind of looks like there's it forks in different three different directions. It kind of looks like a chicken foot. I've never seen that in Minecraft Pocket Edition or in Minecraft in general. Anyway, uh, but that is how we now have a map. So that's really, really cool. And now, one problem I've seen is that people don't know how to actually get the little cursor that's in the middle, like that shows, you know, where you're walking around the map. So how do you actually do that? Is you already have your map. So we're going to go to the crafting table and we're going to go to our chest, I mean. We're going to grab a compass. That's all you really need, guys. You need an anvil. You need your map that you already crafted and there's pig. You're not here for the... You have nothing to do with maps, dude. Just can you move away? Thank you. And what we are going to do is we're going to click on our anvil over here. You're going to put the map that you already uh, looked at and you're going to put the compass in the other slot and wha-bam. Whatever map is right here, we're going to call this map with a thingy, the cursor thingy. But I don't know, I just called it map with... Oh, you, to actually rename it, you need XP. Okay, just, just to make it, you don't need XP. So never mind, let's just... Let's be done with it. Okay, so the map on the right side that comes out is going to be a map. And you see, when you look at it, guys, you actually have your cursor now. So all you need is a map, and you need your compass to actually have the cursor on the map that you made. So as you can see right here, we have now the little cursor of us walking around, and we can you can see where we are. So that is pretty freaking sweet. That's all we really wanted. But now, when you look at this map, it is pretty small. Like, we're not going to do any exploring and find any cool stuff, because we're going to get lost after we walk, like, I don't know, a few blocks in that direction, as you can see. It's a tiny, tiny map. So now we're going to be talking about how to upgrade and make it just a larger map in general. We're going to go here to our anvil, but first what we're going to do is grab a bunch of paper over here. So, all right, so now that we have the paper, we're going to go to the anvil. We're going to put the map in the first slot, our map that we already have. And in the second slot, we're actually going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of paper in here. And what you're going to get out here in the other slot is you're actually going to get a map and it's going to be bigger. So as you can see right here, now the map size has increased. Like before, all we could really see is the fork in the river. But now we actually can see some stuff to the bottom right. And we can actually go over that in that direction and explore. All right, so I walked all the way in this direction. As you can see, it filled up the map. And it's just pretty much how you do it, guys. You walk around the world and it will fill up your map as long as you have the maps with you. So now that we actually filled up some of the map, we're going to go back to our crafting table or anvil. We're going to go back to our anvil and we're going to make it even bigger. All right, so we finally made it back. We're going to go to our anvil and we already have the paper we need. So we're going to put our map in here again. We're going to put in eight more pieces of paper. And once we get there, as you can see, another map pops out. And we can go over here. And it's even bigger, guys. Like, look at that. All that we explored over there earlier is now just a minuscule part of the map. So you can do this, I believe, up to three times after you craft the original map. Or maybe four times. So we're going to go and try to do one, one more time. We're going to get some more paper from the chest over here. So we're going to grab until we have eight more pieces. We're going to upgrade it once again over here. We're going to put the map in the first slot eight more and you can just keep increasing your map size until until a certain point so i think you can upgrade it one more time after this as you can see here it's like nothing where we like the fork in the river is like barely visible now it's just an absolutely huge map it'll take forever to fill up if you actually want to go and explore the horror world so that is just gigantic and i love it and i love it it's gonna be a huge map and we can go over here and make it bigger and once again but we're actually gonna need some more paper so let's grab eight pieces of paper from here and that was actually perfect all right so now that we have the paper we're gonna go once again to the anvil i'm gonna put the map in here our eight pieces of paper and we're gonna upgrade the map for what i believe is the last time so we got this map over here and as you can see it's like nothing like what we have actually explored, what we have of this world, is just absolutely nothing. It is so small. This map is gigantic. And I'm going to test it out. I'm going to make sure that... I don't know if you can upgrade it. Actually, upgrade it four times. So what we're going to do is for the last time, we're going to grab eight pieces of paper. I'm going to put it in the anvil of the map and see if it upgrades in the first slot and eight pieces of paper in the second slot. And yeah, it doesn't upgrade anymore. So you can only upgrade, I believe, three times after you craft the original map. So that's pretty much how you upgrade your maps in Minecraft Pog Edition. But we're going to try something else really cool, and I'll be right back with that. 
All right, so the last thing I want to show you guys in this guide to Minecraft Pocket Edition maps was that you can actually put your maps on a wall with item frames. And if you have a bunch of maps, like from going around the whole world and you have the whole world mapped out on different maps, then you can actually put those maps together in item frames and it'll all connect up and you can just have an awesome huge map on your wall. So we're going to go try this out right now with a couple maps. Uh, we're going to grab one of these. We're going to grab two of these maps. We're going to grab a couple compasses just so we can have the, uh, the better version of those maps. So we're going to grab this map over here. We're going to ink it up. As you can see here, we're going to have the inked map. We're going to put it in here. So we're going to put this inked map. We're going to put the compass. We're going to get that. And right now, what this map we made with this one, as you can see, we have the cursor right here, right? We have the cursor. We're walking around by the river over here, all nice and dandy. And we're going to put this map in the very middle. So what we're going to do, since we're like over here and around this area, we're going to go up this fork that way. And we're going to go check out what is over there. And we're going to ink our map once we get over there. So we're going to go quickly walk over in this direction. So as you can see, the fork of the river that we followed is actually mapped on this side of the map. On this version of the map that we walked all the way in the, in the other direction. And now what we can do with this map, this new map that we have over here, is we can go towards the item frames, uh, the wall of item frames. We can actually place this map on top of that, right next to it, in the direction we went. And then we can have a bigger map on our wall. So as you can see, we can place it over here. We already have this one map in the middle. We're going to place this one over there. And as you can see, we have a larger version of the map. So we can do this as many times as we want around the maps. I think somebody actually did a six by six once, but he actually used the biggest maps possible. So you can map a huge, huge, absolutely gigantic part of the Minecraft world on just one wall. It's really, really awesome to do, but I'm going to, I'm sure it takes a long, long time. So we're going to do it one more time. We're going to go actually down here somewhere. We're going to grab another map. And we're going to go down the main part of the river before it forks. And we're going to see what's down there. And we're going to place the map down here. All right. So now that we have gone far enough down river, we're going to grab the map and we're going to ink it. And as you can see right here, it is a continuation of what the map was showing us over there when it comes to the main part of the river. So we're going to place it on the item frames on the wall. And you guys will see it's even more of a complete picture of the maps. All right. So now that we're back over here, we're going to place this part of the map that we just inked when we went down river. I'm going to place it on the very bottom part. As you guys can see, it is a more complete map on our wall. So that is pretty much it, guys, for the complete guide when it comes to Minecraft Pocket Edition map. If there's any other videos you guys want me to make on 0.14, then make sure to comment below. And if there's anything I missed when it comes to maps, also make sure to leave a comment below so we can educate our fellow viewers in the comment section below. And other than that, there's one more thing I want to mention when it comes to maps, and that is they do not work in the nether. I actually tried one to the nether, and it just gets like this gray, red, fuzzy thing on the map. There's no actual structure. You can't actually see anything on it. So I thought I would mention just, just in case uh, some of you guys were wondering. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found it informative. And be snacksy, guys, because being snacksy is what I mean sexy. It is a scientifically proven fact. I'll see you guys next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, guys. Love you. And bye.